All right, so it's time to unbox the Polaroid PL300 for the second time. Because the first time, the drone was defective and the charger blew out. It, well, it didn't blow out, but it melted out. All right, so let's open this box up real right quick. All right, so on one side we got a wonderful charger with a uh, slot for your four AA batteries. Got my four AA batteries right here. Um, that, that's not part of the package. Um, on the other side we actually get four extra blades along with a mini screwdriver to replace them. You also get instructions and your registration for your product package, not the FAA registration. Uh, you get a micro SD to USB card reader right there so you can transfer your camera or your your pictures and video you get a 3.7 volt 1000 milliamp hour battery which I've since replaced since I went to the RC store actually today and I bought let me get the uh, battery compartment open here a one or er, 1200 milliamp hour battery so that would essentially give me 12 13 minutes of uh, flight flight time as where the original thousand milliamp battery would give me only about 10 so now we have roughly 22 minutes of flight time and the battery is smaller in width so that's good doesn't it shouldn't affect the flight time or the, the weight of the drone of course you get your drone with uh, your little blade guards here your built-in uh, HD 720p camera First person view. Uh, you get also the supplied Type C USB charger, which you must use to charge your drone. Only this device, only this cord. Anything other than this cord, you can and most likely will damage your drone, as you most likely see down in the other videos down below but none of those warnings were listed so don't be stupid if you lose this cord I don't know exactly how to help you on that so that's everything in the box why don't we go right to Make sure all your all your pieces are all secured and everything. You don't need to go out flying and then your phone or device fall off from your controller and essentially lose it, like I could have done right here. Because this piece is just a little loose. Not not because that's just a screw right there on the bolt. All right. So, on to...
to how to fly this thing and set it up. Now, I didn't charge these. These are right out the box. This was right out from the RC store. This is right out the box. Uh, I'm actually going to see without any charge time if there's any juice in them. So I'm going to take this 1200 milliamp hour battery, 3.7 volts, and we are going to put it in there. Make sure that fits correctly. Get it in the little red notch inside the battery compartment here. And give it a minute and it fits. Alrighty. So, since this is right out the box, I will need to calibrate this. So, I'll go over that with you. Alright. Once we have our battery in our drone, we can just set that aside and go right to our controller. Take our four AA batteries. I always like to do rechargeables, so I don't have to throw them out and keep buying new ones. Because we all know how much pain that is. So, batteries are in and working. Throw this off to the side. Alright, so just for this test, I'm not actually going to connect the drone to my phone. So, this is just calibration test and whatnot. So, I'm going to. Turn on the drone on the right side over here. All right, looks like it has some battery life in it. All right, now we turn on the controller. All right, and you want to take your left stick, hit that up, and it'll give you a beep. The status flashes, it's halfway connected. Take your left stick and hit it down status is a solid light and your drone actually gives you a nice pulsing light. So then that means it is fully connected. Let me just make sure the area is all clear. You don't want to hit anything while you're doing this. Alright. So I'm actually going to turn it this way. Since the two white lights are the front. The red is the back left, and the green is the back right. Alright, so, let me see if we can get it here. Alright, so, we got our one key takeoff button. We want to hit that. And after we take off, we want to focus on this button, just to the left of the power button, and the other button underneath the left stick. This is the up and down trim, and... This button right here is our left and right yaw. So we want to essentially just take it off. And we want to try to get it up there. All right, so it's coming back on me onto the right. So I want to move the up one. And then I want to take it to the left. And then I want to take it to the left again. Take it to the left again, turn it. This might take a little bit. Just doing two flips at a time here. While trying to keep it in a nice location. Oh. Alright, we're starting to see some notice, some improvement there. Alright, 
anyway, so it's trying, it's still trying to come back. So we're just gonna hit it up again. Battery seems to be dying just a little bit, so we got about a minute or two. Whoa. Still wanting to come back on me here. Still hitting the forward control function, and it's gotten much better now. So it looks like it's about stable. I'm just gonna click it a few more times, make sure it's nice and proper. I'm gonna bring it back here, and stand up next to it. So it looks like it's uh, coming to the right just a little bit. It's actually moving a little bit forward now. We are already moving to the right. So you want to hit this the bottom button and then use your left stick to the right of that. All right, so once it starts flashing like that, we have about a minute before it, the blades are gonna completely turn off. So you just wanna make sure you're nice and ready for a landing. All right, I'm just making sure that everything's proper. Going to the right a little bit. So to stop those blades, just really quick, you just want to take your one key, take off button, tap that twice, and then it'll stop it immediately. Alright, so these two buttons right here are pretty much the only buttons that we are the only buttons that we use besides the two sticks just to keep it nice. Mm, probably about uh, what? three and a half feet off the ground just to make sure that the alt its own wind didn't mess with it these two buttons over here are the camera to adjust that but once I read the instructions a little bit better I'll know that more but yeah that's um that's how we calibrate the Polaroid PL300 Hopefully this helped you. I know it sure has helped me and it clearly just took what about five minutes to calibrate this with just a little extra thing, a little extra motion off the sticks, just right out the box. I'm now not who's to say that my your drone will be any different like my drone went to the right who's to say that your drone will go to the left or up or forward just always be aware of what it could do and it most likely will do so 
yourself. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, you already know what to do. If you have, if you want to leave a comment or anything, need any help, you know what to do. Throw that comment down below. Um, always before flying, you want to make sure that all your your drone is probably secure, nothing sticking out. And as I was in the air, I did notice that this right rear blade guard was lifted up just a little bit. Didn't affect the, didn't touch the, the blade at all. But yeah, just make sure two blade guards were actually, three blade guards were actually up. Actually, all of them were up a little bit. So, just make sure that everything is properly secured before you actually try to fly it. Alright. We got all of them secured. Now it's time for charging. Yay!